I normally do live reactions to things but I've been told that I have to look at the music video for this one because it's really really beautiful. This is James Blunt, he has a really really interesting voice wow. and he has a kind of personal connection to me because my dad was also um, serving in the Kosovo War and uh, I think he even heard James Blunt sing before he was famous then. Um, which is kind of cool but uh, this song is meant to be really really touching I'm excited to give it a listen but before we do I also want to say uh, if you would like to hear me sing I have just done a cover of Wicked Game it's out here on YouTube you can just check out my channel it's on the main screen but it's also available on Spotify so please do check that out all right let's listen to James Blunt Oh no, he looks sad already. Oh, before they turn off all the lights, I won't read you your wrongs or your rights. The time has gone. Okay. I'll tell you good night, close the door. Tell you I love you once more. The time has gone, so here it is. I'm not your son. Okay, before I really get into this, and I start fairly weeping because I know that this is going to be the rest of this reaction video, I can tell already. Um, this is a song that is inspired by his father's kidney disease. His sister wrote a poem about it and they, and then he kind of took that poem and took it further and made it into a song. And um, it's a really touching, kind of almost a goodbye, which is really, really sad. Um, yeah, his singing is so interesting because he has this really high reedy voice and a really unusual tone. And the thing about tone, is that it is defined by the natural makeup of our bodies. It's defined by our vocal tract shape, um, by the shape and size of our vocal cords, um, and all sorts of things that are kind of beyond our control. So if you want to sound like James Blunt, unfortunately you're probably unlikely to sound by, like James Blunt. It could be just because of an unusual shape vocal track that makes him sound such a way but it really does boost some of those higher harmonics and give him this really interesting tone as well as combined with him keeping his accent you can hear that kind of quite posh English accent in his singing as well all right here we go you're not my father we're just Okay, it's just started and I'm already done. Sleeping, I'll try to make you proud. So daddy, won't you just close your eyes? Don't be afraid. It's my turn to chase the monsters away. Oh well, I Good. I'm giving myself a break and a moment before. Some of the language in this is so beautiful. The having a grown man, you know, an army officer, <laughs> sing say the word daddy is you know this childish childish word that uses it. It brings you back to. Um, <laughs> this is so funny. I don't think I've ever cried so much. Um, it brings you back to the idea of you being a child and being looked after, but also talking about two grown men, about how you become friends with your parents as they age. Ugh. Are you crying as much as me? A story to you. Only difference is this one is true. The time has gone. I folded your clothes on the chair. I hope you sleep well, don't be scared Time has gone, so here it is I'm not your son, you're not my father We're just two grown men saying goodbye No need to forgive, no need So daddy, won't you just go? 
Okay, this is really beautiful. Even in that, um, I'm trying to be a vocal coach right now, and it's really hard. <laughs> Even in that higher section in the chorus, where he allows it to be kind of fragile and broken in sound, sometimes there's. Uh, I don't want to say it's ugly. I guess it is ugly. It's ugly and fragile and emotional. You really feel like he feels that and that his voice is on. He's crying. Like, he's crying. This music video sounds like he's crying. The the audio just by itself sounds like he's crying. And then it's a, a very fragile and amazing thing to see. Because, you know, it's really vulnerable to see him cry. I, f I think that a lot of the culture around the army is to be strong so to see this man who ha has served in wars be there crying and being vulnerable and letting his voice shake is so so touching and and then to see his father I think this is actually his father here lifetime yes and thinking about how difficult that must have been to film when there is a genuine thing going on in their lives and how his dad still wanted to comfort him and how lovely that was considering they're like you know James Bond is making a, a, a song that's like saying goodbye when his dad has not yet passed or you know this hasn't happened and is going through uh, some major medical issues and you know my um as far as I know, his father is still alive. So it must have been quite an emotional experience to kind of have that, it's kind of a nice experience, I guess, to be able to have that moment and to know the moment that you don't often get when people die because it happens so quickly, to have that moment before and to really be like, you know, I care about you. Really beautiful. Oh, I've never cried so much <laughs> in a music video. Wow. Thank you for watching. I uh, hope you enjoyed that. Maybe you're weeping like me. And uh, I'll see you in the next one. Bye.